Keeping a close eye on the District 3 House race between incumbent Republican Jamie Herrera Butler and her Democratic challenger Carolyn Long. And so far, Herrera Butler is sitting at 52%, and she has been for uh, much of the night now. Let's switch to our Wayne Haverly. He's live at a gathering for Herrera Butler right now. Wayne, I know you had a chance to speak with her a little earlier tonight. Yeah, those uh, polls have been very, very close uh, for this, and it turns out that they're pretty accurate because that four-point uh, lead that you're talking about, that's been holding on for several hours, but there's a lot of votes to be counted, so this likely won't be uh, called for quite a while, maybe even for a couple of days. We'll have to see on that. Not really a party atmosphere uh, uh, here for the uh, Butler campaign. Uh, we're at the uh, top floor uh, of the county building. This is where the city council meets, and uh, about an hour and a half ago, uh, 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 Butler stopped by, and we talked with a congresswoman at that time, and she told me that she's been very humbled by this campaign and by the people that she represents. What they care about is, are you one of us? Are you going to fight for us? And can we trust you? It really, they have given me a lot of latitude. There have been a number of issues that I don't agree with a good number of the electorate here on, but they've seen me fighting on their behalf. And I think... Um, that, so I, I never felt like, oh, this is my seat. <laughs> it, it is an honor and a privilege to get to do this. And uh, it, it looks like I might get another shot. Yeah, this is the closest race uh, that uh, Herrera Butler has had since her very first race back in 2010. I believe she won with about 53% of the vote at that time. So we'll have to see and, uh, and wait and see what happens uh, here as, as the night goes. But uh, she feels very optimistic and she feels strongly that her lead will hold. Back to you. Wayne Haverly. Now let's switch to our Cole Miller. I'm Cole Miller with the Carolyn Long folks. I know, you, did you have a chance to talk with Carolyn Long, Cole? We did, Jeff. We, had, we finally got to her as she was leaving for the night. And you heard Wayne mention it there. This was a close race. 10,000 votes or so at last check. But unlike what he was saying about the atmosphere there, Long says that there was an uh, emphatic and positive vibe here, the mood upbeat and that energy fairly contagious. Now, she says that to flip a district this red, it's not easy. Wayne touched on it there just a little bit, but she says that past elections up here in District 3, Republicans have won by as many as 20 points. Now it's looking ahead to what's next. Now she didn't give us a specific answer, but take a listen as to what the debrief lays ahead for her. Immediate post mortem, see what we did right, see what we could improve upon, and then sort of planning the next uh, type of cycle and what we're going to do. So, uh, analyze where we're at, how we got there, and how we could uh, be better next time. And this race again, it was pricey, uh, long outfunding Herrera Butler by about a million dollars or three to one as you, if you really crunch the numbers. So again here, the party's left, people have wrapped up, they've gone home uh, long as well. Again, she did not concede tonight. She says she wants to wait a few more days to see how this all plays out. But again, at last check on the Secretary of State's website, about 10,000 votes favoring Herrera Butler over long. Live in Vancouver, Cole Miller, Coin 6 News. And ballots still coming in in that race, so we probably won't know here for a little while yet. Yeah. Thanks, Cole.